Just before you create a role description, let me remind you of a few key things. A role description provides clarity for each staff member to understand what they are working towards and how it fits into the church's vision and mission. This is important for all roles, even volunteers. A clear role description will state the purpose and expectations of the role and will profile the ideal applicant. A role description helps to avoid miscommunication and even potential legal action. It should make it easy for a staff member to prioritise their workload and provide a record of changes when roles are reviewed and flexibility is required. It is a flexible document and it's allowed to change and it should be updated at least annually. Typically, there are four main sections of a role description. Role purpose, key responsibilities, qualifications and experience, skills and capabilities. The purpose should help the employee make a link between their role and the church plan. It should be visionary and inspiring. What is it they do that enables your church or ministry organisation to proclaim the gospel and reach the lost for salvation? The key responsibilities section is where you flesh out the main focus areas of the role. It's helpful if these can be somewhat measurable. The qualifications and skills and capabilities sections are a wish list. This is your opportunity to work out what you think would be ideal for the role. You might not recruit someone who ticks every box and that's okay. If that's the case, you're looking for a candidate with the potential to grow and develop into the other areas. I hope this has been helpful on setting you on the path of creating a role description.